How many of you are doing that this weekend? All right. Uh, we'll talk about it. From the mystical and magical land known as Wall Street, not the North Pole, the Newsmax Director of Financial Newsletters and our money master, Jeff Gastine, joins us again. Jeff, um, by the way, I, I do want to compliment you. Very nice on the uh, on the facial hair, my man. Very nice. I, I, <laughs> I, I think it's looking good, brother. Everybody here at the studio loves it, so keep it up. We're looking I'm for the I'm not sure board. if I'm going to keep it or not, but I appreciate the vote <laughs> of confidence, sir. You can, you can uh, grow mine because I can't, and that's quite all right, too. <laughs> Uh, looking at what's going on on Wall Street here today, it looks like a little profit taking. I'm actually seeing a, a little, a little down double digit numbers. Yeah, the, we have the Dow down about 50 points, the S and P down 15, the Nasdaq down 57. We're going to talk about this in a moment, I know, but uh, some people thinking that perhaps the, uh, the pre or post Thanksgiving uh, retail numbers didn't come in the way some had expected, and that's an excuse to uh, to sell some sell some stocks here as well as the fact that. Oil prices are down some, and although most of us should cheer about that, uh, concerns about, uh, once again, global economic growth in China and Europe. All right, let's go ahead and talk about those numbers. It would seem maybe that Black Friday might be losing a little bit of its importance because, let's face it, you've got Black Friday, you've got sales beginning on Thanksgiving night. They begin on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Cyber Monday begins Sunday night and then Monday. These sales are ridiculous now, and I'm looking at the numbers. They dropped 11%. Now, we're still talking from... 57.4 billion to 50.9 billion dollars in sales, but 11 percent is pretty hefty. That's a signal from consumers as to something. Right. Then I think that's the, what the, the market is most worried about. But as we've seen, it, there's a lot that you really cannot read into these uh, into these numbers because there really isn't a correlation between what we see on this, this first round of the holiday shopping season versus how it winds up for good or for bad. But with all the hype and all the buildup, certainly it's a letdown that people didn't actually flood into the stores the way some were expecting. But you know, the other thing is, as you were alluding to slightly there, Black Friday and the, and the Thanksgiving shopping period is not what it once was. We see where the big retailers are trying to shift more of that, uh, of, of the shopping to the uh show up in the stores but anyway you get the message you're slow i see him at the summer solstice anymore the way things are going a <laughs> uh, couple of minutes here let's hit a couple of quick hits uh cyber ring stealing secrets to make bets on the u.s stock market how serious is this group well no one's really quite sure at this point uh, a research group found that uh, an espionage or what they're calling a cyber espionage ring basically hacked their way into the email accounts of key people within the uh, within corporate America, let's put it that way, the uh, uh, investor relations groups, corporate attorneys, investment bankers to search for changes in uh, SEC filings, you know, insider information, true insider information that they could then apparently use to bet on stocks. The thing is, they, at least through the research that's been uncovered so far, they cannot tell who actually has been doing this, just that there's evidence that it has been done. So it just remains to be seen. All right, we've got about a minute left here. This caught our eye. The Federal Reserve looking at the rate of inflation, and they are not happy. Why? It's because the, there just isn't very much inflation in the economy these days. And really, that's been a problem worldwide. And with oil prices doing what they've done down, what, 20% or so just in the last two, three, four months, it doesn't seem like you're going to get any inflation anytime soon. So it's that big uh, conundrum, I guess we'd say, for economists, because the Fed has lowered rates as low as they can make it, practically. We have energy prices as low as they can make it, and yet we're not getting any inflation yet. So it just remains to be seen. Is this some sort of new, strange phase of the uh, global economy because of uh, interest rates being as low as they are and central banking being what it is? Or is it just a lull before inflation really does start? People who want low interest rates will say, let's keep it nice and quiet. Shh, don't bother the Fed. Uh, we also want to tell you folks, if you want to find out what's happening about the Fed, Cyber Monday, and a whole lot more, go to Newsmax.com, click on the Money tab, go to Money News. That's where you read Jeff Yastine and the entire team to bring you up to speed on what is happening every day. Jeff, always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks, Ed. All right, be sure to get your copy of the Warren Buffett's Next Door book by visiting FIR411.com. Break, we're back with maybe the strangest phrase of the day. 
Obama and Rand Paul agreeing on something? It's next.